Weekend wrap. Weekend wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I'm out here in the sunshine, enjoying the sunshine. A little melancholy because I got to talk about one of the biggest business blunders. I'm going to kind of turn uh, uh, the lemon into lemonade, if you will, and, and flip this into a business 101 kind of uh, uh, situation. And let's see if we can't come up with a lesson out of this instead of trying to make it be a bad thing and blah, 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 blah. I'm going to pause for a bit. Actually, I'm just going to walk through so you guys can see because I am going to be addressing preservation. This is going to be a little weekend wrap for preservation. Some crazy, crazy stuff going on. But I'm going to walk through so you see the mess and the, the challenge that I have coming up here because I have a couple things going on. One of them, one of them is an event. I'm probably going to do a booth, so all this stuff has to get cleaned up. Now, keep in mind that this is a contract issue now. This becomes a legal kind of issue with what has happened here and the project. As many of you know, I was working what I thought was to be a, a way to redefine Alliday LLC and do a little uh, uh, crazy madness, huh? We were going to do a, a little sustainable agriculture program wrapped around the current business model of the Wynema Ranch. That didn't happen, obviously. Uh, uh, and something... Something that probably should have been discussed in the beginning. Ownership of the property. Ownership of the property, ladies and gentlemen. Um, now, I've done a little bit. Uh, my background here, I, I have a little bit of architectural drawing and design work. I've developed uh, uh, vocational programs for penal uh, uh, for correctional uh, uh, departments in various states. But when I came here, because, and in every one of those scenarios that, 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 that I've spoke, there was a contract. There, there, there was a contract, and remember, a contract, ladies and gentlemen, a mutuality of agreement. In other words, two or more parties all agree to what's in the four corners, what's in the document, um, not at what you might have said. When you deal with friendships, there's a reason, there's a specific reason, here I am today. They say, do not mix friendships and business. You can't do that. Because this was a friendship thing where everybody was helping each other, they thought. Some things were overlooked, like a contract. Very important. A contract, a solid contract. Um, fortunately, on my behalf, because I was going to redefine my business and develop a new business model and maybe take the show on the road. I don't know, maybe uh, what I have left to sal salvage out there. Maybe, maybe it's enough for people to see where I was going with this here and, and how it was going to play out. Um, well, we'll have to see how that plays out because I, I, I still have another six weeks and you'll see a big difference at, at the end of the six weeks before I do dismantle everything here. But everything you guys saw coming through, this is the preservation people, everything you saw coming through, I need to take this place back to the dirt. Why? Because the property owner doesn't like that. Don't you think the first time that I gave somebody a, a proposal about developments uh, on this property, that might have been a time to bring up the ownership fact? No. Uh, that happened back in August. So where, where, when the ownership issue came up a couple weeks ago, I was totally caught off guard. I lost my temper. I flipped out. Um, I, I mean, I probably said things. That, I, I know I said things that can't come back. But we're past that point now. We're, we're past the emotional stage, and it's business. And as you guys, if you follow me, you know I have a little series. That's business. Everything going forward, ladies and gentlemen, the pit, the metal bin, the, the, all that project down there, going forward, everything will be documented. Uh, uh, I, I will be drafting up some documents to ha uh, allow people to remove those trailers. Uh, I, I, everything is going to, what I'm saying is, because of the sudden shift in the paradigm here, oh, 
I get to use all my preservation skills and call in markers and favors because I need a helping hand here. Um, but it's going to be a fun project. I what this is my plan. This is my plan. August 28th barbecue, and you know I I, I can I, I can sling a little steak on the on the fire there, man. I can throw a little bit of meat around on some fire. I I can also mess around the kitchen a little bit too. So, but my plan is to cook, and everybody that is coming, they're in the area obviously, and they're coming because I'm going somewhere else. And at my age, gosh, we may not get back this way. And when we all leave, we're all leaving with everything. It's getting loaded up. Everything's gone. The only thing that I've done is I, I made a deal here with the, uh, the the four storage unit sheds I have in the back. They're the heavy duty plastic. Uh, uh, the one with the peak roofs, they're about eight hundred bucks. I, I I sold them to them for twelve fifty a piece. That's all I'm leaving behind, folks. Everything else got to go. Um, plants if you see plants out there that that, that you might want I, I got some really 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 nice french tarragon Ooh. Uh, uh, german winter time there's a couple of them there's some nice sage out there uh, uh, all kinds of plants going to be uh, uh, they can be dug up and uh, 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 removed uh, uh, when that day comes but that that's how i will do it with the garbage in between now and then i'm gonna just do what i do and, and get everything packed up and get everything gone Find a, uh, probably have to find a storage unit, see if I can't negotiate a storage unit for a year or something until I get figured out. At, at the same time, at the same time, the big thing this week, and we're going to talk about this on Preservation Thursday. You can bet on this. You got questions? Put them in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen. Put them in the comments below because we're going to get down to something here. Calling out a company in social media. Is it right? Is it wrong? Does it serve a purpose? Is there a right and wrong way to do it? Um, I'm hearing a lot of scuttlebutt. A lot of scuttlebutt. I saw something and I, I, I chimed in with my two cents. And we're going to come back to something the industry really needs. This is an industry issue. It's vital and it's necessary in the industry, if you ask me, because of the way business is done right now. A neutral third party conflict resolution program for the industry they can be set up there they're not that difficult uh, uh there there can be some autonomy to them um and there, there, there's a way to do it just like there's a way for that hud office in reno and vegas to find local companies to do the hud work in the state i don't understand why we have a hud office if nobody in the office is looking out for that part of the job i could be crazy i could be crazy I've been called worse. I've, like I said, it wouldn't be the first time I spun the plate and put it on a stick. But tune in for Preservation Thursday. Like I said, going to have some preservation stuff here. I am liquidating, and to do what I have to do. And when I say business, business 101, to do what I have to do, where is it? Right here. I have a thing right here. The tool or the item that I'm having to liquidate because of this sudden shift. Uh, uh, the original value, what I paid for it, what I have it listed for sale, what I actually sell it for, and my loss. We'll be charting all that. I believe uh, when it's all said and done, I'll, I, I have a claim here, and we'll see how that plays out. I don't know yet. I don't know. I did ask for a buyout of $15,000. I was being generous at the time. Uh, if things go sideways again, I'm going to have to ask for more money because I know it's going to cost me about 40 to do what any I, I need to do. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here for the day. I hope you're having a great, great weekend. That's kind of the scenario. Uh, uh, and I hope, hey, we're going to talk Preservation Thursday. You can bet we're going to talk about a couple of developments. Third party conflict resolution. Why do we not have a program in this industry? I keep seeing everybody recruiting for labor, recruiting for labor, but are they paying you as an employee or what? I still haven't heard from VRM. We still have not heard from VRM. Hello, hello. Is there a FBI investigation into that contract, into that award? You be the judge, you be the judge. That's part of the scuttlebutt. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, have a great day and let's all be safe out there.